diclofenac. FDA approval date is July 28, 1988. Analgesic non-opioid non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Used for the treatment of acute or long-term use in the relief of signs and symptoms of ankylosing spondylitis. Primary dysmenorrhea. Acute treatment of migraine attacks with or without aura in adults and for the relief of signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis and for the relief of signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Off-label use, treatment of acute flares of gout. Mechanism of action, reversibly inhibits cyclooxygenase 1 and 2, COX-1 and 2 enzymes, which results in decreased formation of prostaglandin precursors. Diclofenac has antibiotic, analgesic, and anti-inflammatory properties. Other proposed mechanisms not fully elucidated and possibly contributing to the anti-inflammatory effect to varying degrees include inhibiting chemotaxis, altering lymphocyte activity, and inhibiting neutrophil aggregation and activation, or by decreasing pro-inflammatory cytokine levels. For safety consideration, please avoid or use the caution in patients at risk for cardiovascular disease, GI disease, kidney impairment, chronic liver disease, or a bleeding diastasis. Consider proton pump inhibitor co-administration in patients at risk for gastrointestinal bleeding, for example, patients taking dual antiplatelet therapy or an anticoagulant, and for patients more than 60 years of age with high diclofenac doses. When it comes to the dosing, use the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration of time for diclofenac potassium and sodium salt formations the u.s maximum daily dose is 150 to 200 milligram per day however health canada recommends not exceeding 100 milligram per day to limit risk of vascular events diclofenac acid maximum dose is 105 milligram per day we should also note that potassium and sodium salt formations are approximately equivalent and dosed the same diclofenac acid 35 milligram is approximately equivalent to diclofenac salts 38.5 milligram u.s boxed warning non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs cause an increased risk of serious cardiovascular thrombotic events, including myocardial infarction and stroke, which can be fatal. This risk may occur early in treatment and may increase with duration of use. Diclofenac is contraindicated in setting of coronary artery bypass graft surgery. Unsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs cause an increased risk of serious gastrointestinal adverse events, including bleeding, ulceration, and perforation of the stomach or intestines, which can be fatal. These events can occur at any time during use and without warning symptoms. We should also notice that non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs may delay or prevent rupture of ovarian follicles. This may be associated with infertility that is reversible upon discontinuation of the medication. Consider discontinuing use in patients having difficulty conceiving or those undergoing investigation of fertility. The use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs close to conception may be associated with an increased risk of miscarriage due to cyclooxygenase 2 inhibition interfering with implantation. Diclofenac crosses the placenta, and when it comes to the breastfeeding considerations, Diclofenac may be present in the breast milk. The milk concentration of a woman treated with oral diclofenac 150 mg per day was reported to be 100 microgram per liter, equivalent to an infant dose of 0.03 mg per kilogram per day. Diclofenac was not detected in breast milk when 100 mg per day orally was administered to 12 women for 7 days or as a single dose of 50 mg intramuscular immediately postpartum. Diclofenac may lead to false positive aldosterone renin ratio. Diclofenac absorption is 50%. Diclofenac distribution is 1.3 to 1.4 liter per kilogram. Diclofenac has 99% protein binding, primarily to albumin. Diclofenac bioavailability is 55%. Diclofenac half-life elimination is about 2 hours and 1 hour for the liquid-filled capsule. Diclofenac time to peak ranged from 15 minutes 
to one hour according to the brand used time to peak for the diclofenac sodium delayed release tablet is 2.3 hours and for diclofenac sodium extended release tablet is 5.3 hours 65 percent excretion by urine and 35 percentage by bile